live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. And we're back here at Dell EMC World, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Paul Gillen, and this is theCUBE. And we have with us the three musketeers of hybrid cloud. Joining me immediately to my right, Mark Norris, the Group VP of hybrid cloud at Atos International, big technical consulting and, and uh, systems integrator firm. Next to him is Paul Galgen. Did I get that right, Galgen? That's right. Who is a senior director of Microsoft hybrid cloud at Dell. And finally, Mike Schutz, who is a general manager of cloud platforms, Microsoft Cloud and Enterprise Division. So, I mean, it's been all about the, the, everyone's waiting for Azure Stack. This is the big, you know, the big hot thing. How close are we to having a real shipping product? Who wants to take that? I, you know, I am so excited. Um, uh, last Thursday, we announced the Dell EMC Azure Stack, Dell EMC Cloud for Microsoft Azure Stack. Um, we're coming out, we've been hard at work. We are ready to announce the details of our offering that'll be coming out in the second half of this year. And uh, we think that it's going to be, it is going to be a transformational um, offering for customers and uh, we'll bring, along with Microsoft, uh, our, our, our unprecedented portfolio of technology offerings to, to enhance and, and delight the customers that choose to pursue a hybrid cloud strategy using Microsoft Azure Stack. Now, uh, Mike, this uh, Azure Stack was actually delayed about a year, I believe, from its original announcement uh, so in order to get some of the technical details right. Are you, and I, I might be wrong about the time frame, but there was a delay there. How, how much anticipation is there in your customer base for this offering? Well, I think in general, and then certainly here at the event, there's a lot of it and, uh, excitement about it. Uh, we've talked about it quite a, quite a bit here at the event, talked to a lot of customers. Uh, it's really interesting the use cases that come up. Uh, a lot of organizations are trying to think about what digital transformation means for them personally. Um, cloud obviously pays, plays a big role in that. Converged systems and hyper-converged systems play a big part in how they're transforming their IT. And hybrid cloud kind of sits at the intersection of those two really big trends around hyper-convergence and, and public cloud. And uh, what we're doing is bringing our global scale cloud platform of Microsoft Azure, uh, serving millions of, of developers and IT pros every single day, and we're taking that same technology and bringing it to our customers to be able to run on Dell EMC hardware in their data centers, thereby really extent, expanding the reach of cloud to meet our customers where they are. And so it's a pretty exciting offering for us. Uh, we're we're kind of at the final throes of product validation and, and finishing out some of the, the features and, and uh, the partnership with Dell and EMC. Dell EMC really has been amazing in this regard. Yeah, th throws, perhaps an appropriate term when you're bringing a new product to market. Um, uh, Mark, I'll bet a lot of our, our viewers in the U.S. haven't heard of Atos. You're a uh, European-based company. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what Correct. you do? Well, we are European based, but we are growing very fast. It's a 100,000 people company in the meantime, 12 billion revenue, so it's quite a big company. So we are very excited about the Azure Stack delivery because it's an add-on on our portfolio in the hybrid cloud area. So, so what we do with customer is a digital journey of the applications. So, so we are looking to the legacy environments of, of customers and, and we are looking to all the applications. And, and some applications can't move to a central data center or to the public cloud. And their Azure Stack is a, is a great solution that you have you know, the public uh, criteria, you have them on premises. So, so um, when we do an, some kind of a decision factory where we are moving applications towards uh, uh, Azure Stack or to do other important, I think uh, a lot of our applications will move to Azure Stack in the future. So we are really looking forward to, to the announcement and uh, to the launch of this uh, this this uh, this Azure Stack. And, yeah, well, you have a, a lot of big a lot of big data center legacy environments over there that you're dealing Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Where does Azure Stack sit, uh, fit vis-a-vis uh, -vis those those legacy environments? Is this is this a whole new um, infrastructure that customers are putting in place? Well, it, it is. So a lot of customers has a few big data centers, but they have a lot of on-site applications, and there are a lot of reasons why applications can't move from uh, to a central uh, data center. So you have reasons like uh, like uh, latency of the applications, factories who cannot uh, cannot be stopped. So the network depending, you know, you have all kinds of uh, compliance, FDA reasons uh, why we can't move applications or data to the public cloud or to a central uh, Atos data center. 
So that's why this offering, you know, it, it puts really the, the cloud native, the, the cloud SaaS of solutions that you also can run it on site. So this is a big, big change. Uh, Mike, maybe you can you talk about what it, this means for Azure customers of your public cloud uh, ver, uh, version. What will be the, the synergies that they'll see between public cloud and, and their, their on-premise stack? Yeah, the, the whole notion of this is to help customers on that application modernization journey that they're on uh, and do it with, with cloud native technologies. And so these are capabilities that we've built in the public cloud and battle tested in the public cloud and now customers can run them on Dell EMC hardware in their own environment. What that means is that we're basically extending the edge of Azure to run in our customers' data centers and bringing the cloud to them. Uh, and so from an Azure customer perspective, uh, the customer would, would buy Azure from Microsoft and consume Azure from Microsoft and be able to run their applications in any location. And so we've even gone so far as making the, the business model, the licensing model, a consumption-based model. And so you only pay for the software that you use and the virtual machine hours or the websites that you use in the public cloud or on-premise. So the very same consumption-based economic model is translating down here to an on-premises world as well, which is, is great because as more and more customers look toward an OpEx model, uh, and they're starting to understand in the cloud world how consumption economics work. Uh, they're looking to do that with their uh, with other software and, and our on-premises system as well. And so we're also uh, working with Dell on how that might work on the, on the uh, the hardware side as well. I want to I want to ask about that. I mean, pay as you go, we're very familiar with in the cloud. How did how does that translate to hardware? At some point, will will customers be able to pay only for the hardware that they use? Absolutely. Um, we are uh, one of the great things about the the joining of Dell and EMC together. Is, uh, is is the the, the breadth and uh, of, the, of the offerings around our financial services. So we already have some very creative um, consumption models for the hardware itself, and we'll be looking to extend that to a metered consumption as well. Very similar to how customers would be able to consume from the public cloud. Um, and by doing that, what we're hoping to do is take out the um, kind of the extraneous um, detritus of, of the decision process of uh, whether a workload goes into public or private cloud and really auguring in on what is the right fit for that particular workload and, and, and where, where it belongs. Mark, give us an idea of the demand that exists in your market right now for oh, this offer. Demand. Let me give a, you know, a very big customer of us in the healthcare market. He has 200 uh, locations uh, all across the world. And, and in those locations, there are a lot of you know, very critical applications. So, so we can do it very cost effective, that we do an application transformation, that we make that we look at the whole landscape of the customer, how the, the business processes are working, how the applications are connected to each other, and, and the way we are doing that, that we have a methodology designed where we can see what is the best fit, the most efficient way to put an application on, on, on an, an infrastructure. And Azure Stack, you know, probably can take 40% out of, out of you know, the whole landscape, you know, but it can be, uh, some customers, you know, we can make everything cloud native, but. Cloud native is not the full solution. A lot of customers have a lot of legacy applications, so so it's it's really helpful to, to broaden the, the portfolio in, in this case. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, just very quickly, uh, Dell's unique. Uh, uh, why why should someone do business with, with a hybrid cloud business with Dell as opposed to anybody else? That's a great question. So with uh, Dell EMC, we have a we have very extensive experience both with the integrated systems we created the integrated system converged platform market with uh, VCE like eight years ago. Um, we have a very long history of layering clouds on top of our integrated systems, uh, both with uh, Microsoft and with other partners. And so we'll be bringing those learnings to our, to our uh, Microsoft, uh, for our Microsoft Azure Stack offering. But we're just scratching the surface here. A lot to talk about, but we are out of time. Okay. I want to thank all three of my musketeers. Thank you very much. Mark Norris, uh, Paul Galgen, Mike Schutz for joining us today. Best of luck with your rollout. You seem very excited about what's, uh, about what's coming down the pipe. Absolutely. Thank you. We're thrilled. Thank, thank you very you. much. We'll be right back from Las Vegas. This is theCUBE.